hello student uh, in this class i am going to solve the some problems on the statistical mechanics so this is the first problem there are two particles in a gas system show with the help of diagrams how these two particles can be arranged in a three different uh, states for cells uh, using one magnetic boltzmann distribution two both science distribution and three fermi dirac distributions so this is a problem and uh, you see this answer and uh, given that the number of particles is ni is equal to 2 let us say they are a and b and uh, uh, the number of states for cells is equal to gi that is equal to 3 let us say 1 comma 2 comma 3 are the cells and uh, first we will take up the case of uh, maxwell boltzmann distribution in this distribution the particles are distinguishable and uh, a state for cell can occupy any number of particles therefore the number of ways these particles can be distributed are given by p is equal to gi raised to ni here gi is equal to 3 ni is 2 so therefore it is 3 square it is 9 and thus uh, according to maxwell boltzmann distribution we can arrange uh, these two particles in uh, these three cells in nine ways like this i can put uh, a here and b here and next a here b here a here b here like that you go on putting in such a way that they are not repeating the arrangements are not repeating that is very important and according to maxwell boltzmann distribution as a cell can have any number of particles you can put both of the particles in the cell 1 like this next you can put both of the particles in cell 2 and both of the particles in cell 3 so therefore there are totally nine ways of distribution of uh, uh, these two particles in the uh, these three cells so this is the maxwell boltzmann distribution now i will come to the point of uh, both sides of distribution here the particles are indistingu indistinguishable and the state for cell can occupy occupied by any number of particles so and as the particles are indistinguishable i will uh, take uh, a, a i will set a equal to b and the number of ways in which uh, Uh, these indistinguishable particles are dis are distributed among the uh, available cells is given by this formula so this is ni plus gi minus 1 whole factorial divided by ni factorial into gi minus 1 factorial so put the values ni is 2 gi is 3 here and uh, so the in the numerator it is 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 3 minus 1 factorial is there that is also 2 factorial and write the 4 factorial in the expanded form 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and 2 uh, factorial write in expanded expanded form and cancel so you will get a uh, 6 ways so thus uh, uh, this uh, uh, diagram is also shown here those 6 ways of distribution and here we have set a is equal to b so there is no uh, b particle means b is treated as a a so you go on distributing uh, uh, these two particles like this put a here a here like this a here 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 and uh, you can also put both of the particles in the one cell and that is why a a here a a here a here so there are total six ways 1 2 3 Four, five, six ways are there. So the calculation, as per calculation, six ways are shown. Next, uh, we take up the uh, Fermi Dirac distribution. So here the particles are indistinguishable, and a cell can have n number of. Uh, sorry, a cell can have only one particle. So that is the rule. 
and according to this uh, distribution the number of possible arrangements are given by this formula uh, just remember this formula it is gi factor divided by ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial so this is and, and in this case gi is 3 ni is 2 so it is 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 minus 2 factorial so it is 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial 1 factorial write in exponent form and cancel uh, you will get a three ways so the diagram diagrammatically this three ways of uh, arrangements are as shown below here so uh, a is here a is here like this and you cannot put both of the particles in the one cell according to fermi poly uh, that is a polys exclusion principle so therefore this uh, only three ways are possible in this way we solved the first problem next uh, we will move to the second problem uh, in the second problem a system consists of five particles arranged in uh, two compartments the first the first compartment divided into six cells and second into eight cells the cells are of equal size calculate the number of microstates in the in the macrostate 2 comma 3 if the particles weighs the both sides in statistics so this is the problem and here you can uh, uh, see the this whole cell is divided into two compartments the first compartment is having six cells and the second compartment is having the eight cells and uh, uh, the macrostate is 2 comma 3 that means uh, two particles will go to a first compartment and three goes to the second compartment so in the in the first compartment two particles are to be arranged in six cells and uh, in the second compartment three particles are to be arranged in the eight cell so this is the task so therefore uh, uh, the microstates uh, are written like this 2 comma 6 and 3 comma 8 and here n1 is equal to 2 G1 is equal to six, and because uh, two particles are going to the first compartment, in the first compartment six cells are there, so therefore N1 is equal to two, six G1 is equal to six, uh, and in the second compartment uh, eight cells are there, but three particles are going, therefore N2 is equal to three and G2 is equal to eight. The total number of possible ways of distribution among two compartments is given by like this. so the this is the distribution uh, in the first compartment and this is the distribution in the second compartment to get the total ways we have to multiply these two so just we have multiplying these two distributions sorry so put all the values n1 is equal to 2 g1 is equal to 6 and you simplify Here n two is equal to three, g two is equal to eight, and all these things simplify and become seven factorial divided by two factorial into five factorial, and uh, the second one becomes ten factorial divided by three factorial into seven factorial. Write in the expanded form: seven into six into five factorial divided by two into five factorial. Five factorial, five factorial get cancels, and here. 9 into uh, 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 3 to 1 into 7 factorial. So 7 factorial is just get cancelled and this uh, 3 to 9 they get cancelled. So totally we left with the 21 multiplied by 120. So this is 2520. That means uh, 2520 ways. Uh, the particles uh, can be arranged uh, in this ways so this is the problem this is and this is the answer next uh, we will go to the next i will go to the third problem so Uh, in the third problem you see this is the third problem 
three particles are to be distributed in four energy levels the and you take uh, these four energy levels as a cells uh, calculate all possible ways of uh, distribution when particles are fermions bosons and classical particles so this is a problem so number of particles are uh, three and number of cells per states j is equal to four and you take up the first case fermions fermions means uh, when the particles are referred as fermions they refer their they refer or obey the fermi dirac statistics fermions means uh, the particles which obey the fermi dirac statistics are called as the fermions so the number of ways so the number of ways uh, distributed here is uh, given by as per your free your free your free statistics this is gi factorial divided by ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial and substitute the values so gi is 4 4 uh, and ni is 3 substitute the values here it is 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 factorial and write the exponent form cancel whatever so we are getting the four ways so this fermions can be arranged in four ways this is the first case next case 2 bosons when the particles are referred as bosons they will be obeying the bosons in statistics so the number of ways of distribution according to bose science statistics is given by this formula here ni is equal to 3 gi is equal to 4 put all the values so in the numerator you are getting this as 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 3 factorial write all these things in expanded form and cancel whatever so this this gives a 20 ways that means uh, these bosons are arranged in the 20 ways 20 different ways of arrangement so next uh, is the uh, classical particles classical particles means the particles which obeys the maxwell boltzmann distribution are called as the classical particles and uh, the number of ways of distribution of ni particles in gi cells as per classical uh, as per maxwell boltzmann distribution is simply gi raised to ni ways so this is 4 cube Uh, because gi is 4 ni is 3 is 4 cube so 4 into 4 it is gives the 64 ways that means uh, as per classical uh, uh, maxwell boltzmann distribution uh, these are uh, uh, three particles uh, can be arranged in four cells in 64 ways so that uh, so this is the answer so this is the end of uh, uh, third problem next uh, i am referring to the fourth problem so here five bosons are distributed in two compartments first having three cells and the second uh, four uh, find the accessible microstate for the macrostate pi comma 0 so here the number of bosons n is equal to 5 because and uh, bosons means uh, it comes under be distribution given that macro state is pi comma 0 that means uh, this whole component is divided into two parts first component is having three cells and the second component is having the four cells but it is given that macro state is pi comma 0 that means uh, five particles goes to the first compartment no particle goes to the second compartment so our task is to simply arrange these five particles in three cells so that is the uh, meaning of this problem therefore the number of possible ways of distribution is equal to is given by this formula and here uh, 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 gi number of cells uh, is 3 uh, and uh, 
the number of particles uh, ni is 5 so therefore substitute uh, this ni and j values in this formula like this and simplify write it like this 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 2 factorial write this factorial is in expanded form cancel whatever uh, cancellations and this, this this gives 7 into 3 is equal to 21 ways so this is uh, the answer that means uh, we can arrange uh, uh, these particles in 21 ways so next we will go to the another problem a system consists of five particles arranged in two compartments again the first compartment is divided into six cells and the second into five cells the cells are of equal size. Calculate the number of uh, microstates in the microstate 2, 0, uh, 2, 3. If the particles obey the Fermi direct statistics. So here the number of particles is 5 and uh, this whole cell is divided into two compartments. The first compartment is having six cells. The second one is having the five cells. And uh, as per the given that uh, uh, the microstate is 2, 2, uh, 2, 3, that means two particles goes to first compartment and uh, three particles go to the second compartment. So the, for the first compartment, it is 6, 2, here N1 is equal to 2 and G1 is equal to 6 and second compartment 5, 3, here Nt is equal to 3 and Gt is equal to 5. Therefore, the number of possible ways of arrangements as per Fermi Dirac distribution is given by this formula. So this is the formula and this is the distribution in the first compartment and this is the distribution in the second compartment. Just put the values of this N1 and G1 here and N2 and G2 here and simplify in this way. Uh, it comes like this 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 4 factorial for the first compartment and then this is for the second compartment then write all the factorials in the expanded form and cancel whatever uh, they are cancelling and uh, lastly we are left with 15 into 10 so this 15 into 10 is uh, 150 that means we can arrange these particles uh, in 150 ways. So these are some few examples of the uh, problems and all the problems on this chapter will be like this only. Just uh, the number of particles may be changed and the microstates may be changed and uh, but the method of solving the problems is, uh, is like this. So just practice some few more problems and definitely you are going to solve these problems in the examination okay thanks for listening